Hello friends. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can uh, write a user-defined uh, text in Notepad5 and how that Notepad file will automatically save in default location where the file name is provided by the user. So just we start with the, the uh, lab. So here one sequence is there. Okay, you can see that the name of the sequence is Notepad. Uh, Notepad. Okay. After then, two input dialog box are there. So one input dialog box is used for getting the text from the user, and uh, another input uh, dialog box named as for file name is used for getting the name of the file. So as earlier I mentioned that here we will go with the uh, writing some content in notepad file so we have to open the notepad file so for opening the notepad file just uh, first we have to click right here and after clicking there we have to write notepad.exe so you can see that first we have used click activity and after then we used notepad.exe with enter key Okay, so after execution of this activity, notepad file will open. After then, after opening the notepad file, here you can see that it looks like this. And here one variable is there because this is a type into activity. So either we have to pass the text in form of variable or here we can simply uh, write the text inside the double quotes so text is the variable yes of course so in this input dialog the result is stored in the variable named as text so basically text variable is storing the information provided by the user which the bot has to type in the notepad file now after then we have to save that file of course so send hotkey one activity is there and for saving the notepad file shortcut key is control plus yes okay so control plus s so here control plus s is automatically pressed after then we have to clear the space because uh, if normally if you want to save a notepad file then by default in file name this star.txt is there so this first we have to clear this star.txt for that i have used five back send hotkey commands so because here five keys are sorry five characters are there one is star then dot then t dot after then x then t okay so with the help of these five send hotkey, five send hotkey with key back, the space is clear. And after then, just in in uh, under file name, there is no character. And here, just I'm passing the name of the file. Then this file name is a variable. And from where we get the value of this variable? So you can check that in this input dialog box, whatever information user will provide that is stored in the variable file name. Okay, so after then, after writing the name of the file, we have to click in save button. And after when the file is saved in the default location, then we have to execute L plus F4 with the help of send hotkey to close the notepad file okay so now we experimented with and let's see it is uh, working properly or not so just i am running the file okay 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 so enter the text so let's say hello i'm sunit and uh, i'm uh, working in i have been working i have been working in the domain of 
RPA since 2018. Now, yes, I am entering it. Okay and okay. Now we have to provide the name of the file. So let's say file name is Sunit 24041980. Okay, and click OK. So here just you can see that everything is happening properly, saved and file is closed. So I think all of you have understand how we can open a notepad file, how we can write the data or text in that notepad file and how we can save. So all these things are happening automatically so indirectly we can say that whatever sequence is written right here it's a kind of digital bond